Oh, MFG! The world has gone to hell in a handbasket, and we've got to get out of the handbasket. Thanks for joining me again. Let's play some more Fallout 4, and here we are in Vault 111. Our task is to get the fuck out of Dodge. Let's do that. We're holding nothing but our Charles Dickens, and the wife just got shot. It doesn't look good. It does not look good. I'm sorry, wife. Come on, Let's come on, see come if, on. like, you know... Oh, God! Maybe you survived a gunshot to the head. And... No. Okay. Well, <laughs> you never know. Okay, so you don't mind if I just loot your uh, wedding ring, you know, because um, that's going to be valuable out there in the wasteland. Okay, let's get going. Can't go here. Nothing in there. Nothing there. Could grab this stuff. Adjustable wrench, screwdriver, ball peen hammer. You normally I wouldn't pick that up, but for now... The rule of thumb is loot everything that isn't nailed down, okay? Everything. Absolutely everything. Including the security baton. We now have a weapon. Bring it. Bring it. Yeah. Before we continue there, let's go in here and look around. Look in here. Grab all the junk. You can take a look at this terminal if you like for some story smurry, stim pack there. Coffee cup. Yeah, I think you got everything there. You're gonna have to forgive me if I overlook stuff. When you're doing live commentary, it really detracts from your concentration and your sense of, uh, you know, immersion in a video game. It really, really does. So, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, get them. Giant roaches. Yeah, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> what do you start eating them? <laughs> And I didn't mean to do that, I just meant to grab the stuff on the table, but I accidentally sat down. Get back up! Come on! General Badass! Up! Up you go! Come on, I want that. That's valuable. Pencils are valuable to give you lead. Pardon me. This hot plate is also valuable. Looks like total junk, but that's valuable. That'll give you screws. Got a toaster here. Grab that. Have a drink of water if you got dinged up a little bit. Lug, lug, lug. Nothing there. And that's enough looking around for a walkthrough. Into the zappy zappy room. Shields up, Scotty. Smackdown. Yeah. Got any buddies? Over there. Okay. Oh, there you go. Looting all the rad roaches. There's another rad roach that got zapped out there. I want him. Wait till the zappy zappy stuff stops. Quick, you go out, grab him. That rad roach meat is valuable. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Good eating. Yum yum. Ain't that right? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. And here we are in the overseer's office. Here's some stim packs here. Grab all those, and we got ourselves a pistol and some ammo. Woohoo! Yeah. More ammo in here. Another pistol there. Special weapon in here. You'll need your master unlocking skills or master lock picking skills to be able to get in there. Or you can use the cheat with the dog. Um, I'll talk about that later, maybe. And here's the. Uh, I'm not going to do that. And here's the uh, the overseer's bedroom. Let's just look in every container here, including and especially this medicine cabinet in the bathroom, and this locker here. Some more ammo. So we're packing some ammo now. Packing some serious ammo. 
just did that for demonstrational purposes. There's some more stuff over here, I believe a bobby pin or something like that. Here we go, dislike, call it, dislike, call it. Something down here. Oh, and I mean, here's some more stuff here. Another pencil, more lead. Okay, table clear, ooh, clipboard. Clipboard, rather. Salvage a spring out of that. And I think we got it all. This is the way to continue. Go here, it says unlock requires terminal. The terminal is right there. Let's go do it. What happened here? Where is everyone? <laughs> you don't want to know. They got French fried. Open evacuation tunnel. Yeah, they all made like McDonald's fries. Okay, now you don't want to waste your 10 mil ammo. These guys can just take care of with the uh, the security bit. Huh? There you go. Anybody else? You want some too? Yeah, you want some? How about you around the corner there? Come on, bring it. Attaboy. Ah, I'll pick up. Okay, there we go. Collect all those guys. Good eating rad roach meat. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Especially after you cook it up, add a little butter, it's gonna be just fine. Okay, so we took some damage. Just bugs, but we're playing on very hard, so yeah, they can do some damage. Let's, glug, 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 glug. Let's have a little drink here. Glug, 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 glug. Glug, 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 glug. There we go. Just fine. Just fine. Get some. Yeah, who's your daddy? Slack daddy. That's right. And what what I what I hear me? Out. Every good. First thing you want to do in here is not block, but pick up this guy here. The Pip Boy. Your 21st century personal follow up for data assistant. This is where it all happens. Pip-Boy loader version 1.1. Here's Pip-Boy. You gonna give me a thumbs up Pip-Boy? Thank you very much. Okay, let's give, let's do a quick rundown on the pit boy this contains all your information I'm just waiting for this to get out of the way go go shoot 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 go away come on ah boy who's a good pit boy I am that's right all right so you got five tabs here stat is all about your personal health okay and what's going on here's our gun here's the damage how much damage we're doing with our gun uh, here's how much damage reduction we have from the items that we're currently wearing. So we have five energy damage reduction and we have our damage resistance, I think it's called in this game. And we have 10 radiation damage resistance, okay? So that's armor, that's weapons. Here's your health. Our maximum health is 85. We're currently at 80. That's the XP bar. We're currently at level one. When we max out this bar, we're gonna level up get a perk point. I'll show you about that in a minute. Here's your action points. Action points is just like stamina in every, any other game. You use action points to run, do power attacks, and you also use action points for the VATS aiming system, the Vault Assisted Targeting System. VATS. I'm going to be using that a lot throughout this walkthrough. I'll explain more about that later, right? So action points are used in VATS. All right, so that's the basic rundown of stat. Um, if you want to see an overview of how you spent your original uh, attribute points, here it is here. Strength, Perception, Endurance, Charisma, Intelligence, and Agility, and Luck. All right. Now, how should you spend these points? Spend these points according to what perks you want to have in the game. All right. Here's the perks chart. 
and there are 70 perks there's 10 perks under each ability all right strength perception endurance charisma intelligence agility and luck now according to how many points you spent in each attribute that's how many perks are unlocked you still have to spend a perk point in that perk to get to use it but at this point it's unlocked all right so i spent uh enough perk points in or enough points in strength to get up to level three in strength you see these little pip boys here they all got a little blue 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 or light blue here this one's completely grayed out that one's grayed out that one's grayed out this is not accessible to me because i don't have enough points in strength the only way i can get make this success little accessible is to get up to level four in strength and the only way I can do that is to spend a precious perk point on leveling up strength a little more. That's something that you probably won't be doing very often. Okay, you can spend perk points to level up your attributes as you go through the game. All right, but normally you spend your perk points on getting perks, and all these perks are special abilities that will help you um, fight better and just be a better wastelander. All right. And I'll go get into more on that later. So basically, you spend your attribute points to unlock the perks that you want to have throughout the game. So, for example, I want Ninja. Here we go. Ninja is underneath the Agility Attribute Tree. All right. Ninja is level seven Agility, which is why I put seven points, at least seven points, into Agility. All right. So I can unlock this. I don't really care about Quick Hands, or Blitz, or Gun Fu. So I let points out of that I didn't like bother to get enough points to unlock those okay so see all these perks are locked these perks are unlocked and that's just the way it works on top of that each uh, attribute has bonuses okay so the more points you put into each attribute the more bonuses you get for that particular attribute let's talk about endurance as an example okay uh, endurance is all about health okay endurance is a measure of your overall physical fitness it affects your total health and the action point drain from sprinting all right so if you put a lot of points into your into endurance you can your maximum health is gonna be a lot it's gonna be big okay it's gonna be like 130 points to the maximum health if you don't put very many points into endurance your maximum health is gonna be very low your maximum health is going to be 85 which is like me all right so let's go back to the pit boy i don't have very many points in endurance at all i only have like it's just at the default one and my maximum health is only 85 all right so spend your perk points or spend your attribute points according to what kind of bonuses you want in each of these attributes from each of these attributes rather and what kind of perks you want to unlock and have available to you throughout the game that's the rundown on that next IMV is inventory. That's your knapsack. This is everything you're carrying on board. I have two 10 mil pistols on board and a security baton. Underneath IMV is five or six rather subcategories. Weapons, apparel, that's your armor and, and the clothing. Aid, that's all your consumables. Miscellaneous, that's stuff you use in the game like such as bobby pins, bobby pins to unlock locks. Junk, very, very important. This is a misnomer. It's not junk. It's very important stuff. All this stuff breaks down into components, and these components can be used to mod weapons and armor. All right, so very, very important stuff. Junk. All right, it's not really junk. It's good stuff. Mods. These are like this refers to like spare weapons and armor mods. I'll get more into that later if we don't have any. And finally, your current ammo. Right? We have 117 10 mil bullets. Next, data. This is all about quests. Your current quests. Uh, main quest and side quest. We only have one quest right now. That's out of time. It's a main quest. It's listed there. It's activated, and that's our current objective. Exit Vault 111. All right. Map. Uh, here's the map of the whole game area. We have nothing showing on the map because we haven't gone anywhere. All right. And you have the world map, and you have the local map. This is where we are. Vault 111 right now. Okay. Vault lo local map and the world map. I'll show you more about the world map when we get out into the world. All right, and finally, radio. I'll show you more about this when we start picking up some radio signals. Okay, so that's it. That's your Pip Boy. And one more thing about the Pip Boy. If you press and hold the Pip Boy button, you can turn on a flashlight. Okay, press and hold it to turn it off. Press and hold it to turn it on. All right. So let me just take a quick look around here. See if I didn't forget anything. I know there's some stuff over here in this locker over here. There, there's some more ammo there. 
115 seems a little late maybe I forgot something but like what wait wait there's some ammo right there I knew it okay 120 it should be around 120 okay there we go 120 10 mil bullets and a new jumpsuit that's pretty useless because we already have one and I think that's about it let me just double check here back to A we should have a bunch of stim packs 14 rad roach meat that's correct we got the requisite number of ammo or our amount of ammo. We're ready to rock. Let's roll. Hit the vault door controls. And let's get the F out of Dodge. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Master, are you the gatekeeper? Yes, yes, I am. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. All right, we can get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Now we can go. to do to get out of vault 111 is to take the elevator up but before you do that I strongly strongly recommend that you save the game now I don't mean a quick save I mean a hard save okay save the game okay because when you go in there the game's gonna give you one more chance to respend all your attribute points okay you're gonna get all your 21 attribute points back and you can do it all over again if you change your mind after that it's you can't change anything okay the only way you can change stuff is to like I said spend perk points to increase the uh, level of all your attributes all right but you will get one last chance to respend all your attribute points right now Alright, change name, change special attributes. We don't want to do that. We're good. Let's get out of here. Okay? So, it's, like I said, save the game there. Then, if you don't like uh, how uh, you spent your attribute points a little later on, you can always come back to that save and you won't have to go like restart the game right from the very beginning again. You can just start from that point. Alright? That's the, uh, the wisdom behind that. And that is it. We are now out in the wasteland. This is it. This is hardcore shit now. We gotta learn how to survive. We got a 10 mil pistol, a security baton, a jumpsuit, and our smarts. Yeah. And I'm gonna call it a video. Thanks a lot for watching. And um, see you next video.